Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back. How is everyone doing? So I decided it's time to change it up. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot. This is the Hangman. And this is the Hangman. Okay, so I am changing it up because there's nothing like change. And in the game of life, what are you winning when you're trying to win over something or someone? What is it in the game of life that you actually win? All right, let's get it going. Let's see what the general. I hope you guys are doing well. Did I mention I missed you guys? Because <laughs> I did. Okay, so we're going to turn them over and then this will be the read. Okay, Four of Pentacles. Are we ready to share with the world our treasures? Are we ready to give in and not to give up? You see behind him, behind the magician, as he sits here, he's ready. Look, he's ready to put into place his talents, his gifts in the game of life. Now you can see it right here, the circle of life, right? He's ready to share. He's home. It's the fourth house. He's at home contemplating how he will share. He is the master of his terrain. Very poised in his own beliefs of how he is going to grow one of these pentacles, one each at a time. Okay, so how will I, how do I see, actually it's, yeah, exactly. Okay, so how will I see the seven cups? Am I seeing, am I seeing what I need to see exactly, right? Which one shall I start with? Now understand, and let's get this so we know. It, when we're dealing with the peripheral, right, that is the external, that is without. When we deal with within, so these pentacles are fragments of the projection of what is yet to come. This is being driven by spirit as always. It is not going to be something that you expect or can probably relate to. Why? Because it's gonna be completely different. The talents that lie within one's own self becomes their own individual talents and projections of what's within out, without, and what is without. What is shown out into the world is one's projection of what's within. Make sense? Therefore, whatever you see and whatever you seek is going to be an individual projection of that person's experiences, of that person's project, manifestation of what it is that you're doing, which is right here. What it is that you're doing is you're getting ready to say, I got it. I picked it. I picked this pentacle out of the four. This is the one I want to begin with. 
And this is going to be a projection of, which is right here, right? People will take notice and it has, it has. It has to start here and then it's going to be projected out here. This pentacle is going to be utilized on every, in every way. And why do I say that? And why am I twisting the card? Because of this. This is the magician's hand picking out the absolute pentacle that is perfect, that will grow, as you can see in the background, to this level of growth. And why? Because this magician isn't going to say, oh, I'm only doing, I'm only going to project this project, this idea, this what have you that I'm launching to the world. It's not going to be just for those who see it at face value, it's going to be for all the world to see. His vision is much larger. So I can, and I have, and I will <laughs> utilize these front and back because that's how I read. I see things from every perspective. So as you've known me long enough, you know that not only do I read front to back, back to front, and every other which way. When spirit calls me to read a card the way that I see it, this is how I see this card being read today. Not structured, but free. So make note that that is exactly how one should manifest their own life. Never be structured and in one box. Allow yourself to see the vision much wider then it truly looks and feel it and know that whatever you are going to manifest that the vision is limitless it is an unlimited opportunity each one of these are unlimited why because that's how we projected. That's how he projected. I said that funny. <laughs> but he did. And we should. And we shall. Spirit says, don't ever put yourself in a box. Expand your vision always. And that's what makes this reading unique. Not for just myself, but for all of you. Don't put yourselves in a box. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed. Why? Because our Heavenly Father is talking to the children and saying, Believe and you will see. You saw the dogs there, right? The loyalty and the belief of dogs and children are what God intends us all to become. So we must believe 
and then we shall reap. Surrender to what it's going to look like, what it should look like, what others are going to say because you're so in your own way. Give up the fight and just believe bottom of the deck. I'm going to use this card both ways as well. Whatever is in the dark comes out to the light. Whatever you've been working on Everything's here in the dark. Same here. You see that. Everything that's ready will be ready in its own time and in its own way, as God intended. And then we reap the fruits of our labor with love, with light. And we'll even go to see one must look beyond the horizon. Have a great day.